And Michael, the rain and the lightning earlier this afternoon only making that search that much more difficult. But this afternoon, rescuers saying once again, they still believe that they can find people inside alive, inside the collapsed site. And for the second day, those loved ones and those family members, they were escorted to the site, allowed to see the damage up close where they prayed. And tonight, still hoping for answers. Families and loved ones facing the unimaginable on board buses being escorted by police after leaving the collapse site of the Champlain Tower South Condo and about a block away a memorial continues to grow with pictures of those missing many people dropping off flowers and pausing for prayer. God takes our best angels early on so we have faith that he's uh, they're all with God and they're all watching over all of us. Christina Fuentes and her husband stopping by the memorial for the first time Monday. Their friends, who are more like family, are among the missing. Quite the adventurous family. They traveled a lot. They traveled together as a family. They did everything together as a family. They loved each other a lot. The agony growing by the hour. A Winnie the Pooh bear and children's toys found in the rubble placed beneath the bed of flowers. Thank you messages to the rescue crews also scattered around the photos. Sofia Lopez and her two daughters, Margarita Vasquez Bello. Each picture, a story, a loving memory. I'm going to give this back to the kids of close uh, from my daughter, that just to the, the ones that lost everything. In the distance, cranes and heavy machinery brought in to move the larger, heavier pieces of concrete as the search continues. Hope is still alive. These pictures and this memorial providing a sense of peace a bit of light on another dark day. Their spirits and their souls will always remain among us, always, always, for all of them, all of them, for everybody here. And at the Family Assistance Center, about a few blocks from here, Surfside is now working with FEMA, still identifying all the families, all the people impacted by this collapse, offering them relocation assistance, as well as mental health services to help cope with the trauma. Live in Surfside tonight, Ryan Hughes, WPTV, News Channel 5.